Hello friends and welcome again to another AFK Journey video. In this video we'll be talking about Florabel and her banner and what it is specifically for free to play and what you should do with her. Now there's a lot of talking about it and I want to give a big shout out to Rekasi. If you didn't know him he's a big content creator for this game. He covers it and he was live on his stream an epic awesome stream. I was there for the whole four hours maybe five hours i don't know how much we were and he did summons he did tested her on paragon on a whale account he tested her on his pay to win account and he had shared some thoughts about free to play and we all discussed it and it was absolutely wholesome and perfect now i'll be talking about her really really quick i will discuss a little bit about her uh, kit and spells and how she works now she's not the best unit in the game she's not the worst unit in the game she's not that mediocre she's above average she's between good and very good and she's an end game unit she's not a late game unit she's an end game unit yes end game unit if you're free to play you should 100 percent avoid her banner as we know, Vala came to the normal banner and you can put her on the wishlist and this is what I did. I want a one copy of her, so I put her on my wishlist. Vala was perfect, she helps you early game, mid game, late game because she's she goes ham for bossing. When she, they drop below 50% she becomes the best damage dealer in the entire game right now. Until maybe releases for new units for single target versus bosses because she amplify her damage when they drop below 50%. For PvP, she's a shutdown unit. Disrupt them, give them energy, stun them, lock down one unit. Absolutely crazy. So, for Vala, yes, it's safe. Whoever went for her, it's not that bad. Even if you got one copy for her, for just collection-wise, that's not a, a bad idea. Even for Florabel. Florabel, and I hope I get one copy of her sometime soon. But I will not be summoning on her banner and wasting my time, especially as a free-to-play. She will not benefit me. With her skills, she has an entire unbelievable great <laughs> skills. Her ultimate, her, she summons three minions one of, and gets shields by their passive. And she buffs them with haste and lifesteal. Plus, one is range and one can delay and be a tank. So you can put her in the middle of your comp. They, she will summon two units. One will be an archer behind her or beside her and one will be a tank. They will both gain shields. They can sustain a little bit and distract the enemies. Absolutely perfect, very nice. Now she buffs only her minions and herself with her spells or with her uh, or the summons and she gives them the shields which is absolutely perfect. At mythic plus is the way that you want to go and then she will buff all other allies summons from uh, Cecilia's Carlisle to the Damien uh, card to Elonia from Brian. Everybody will get buffed but the summon meta is not really relevant now and especially Cecilia. She's not the greatest hero in the game she's an early game pusher carry that will push you far with the comp that we discussed in my tier list the meta comp which is the team that is around of buffing healing and sustaining with brutus and she can fill the role of cecia as well but she needs more copies than cecia now we did a new account we tested her with all of her skills actually to mythic and we had a mythic uh cecia she doesn't do better than Cecilia at Mythic. Cecilia still does better. For pushing for content, she works as Cecilia. They're the same, almost the same. Sometimes she accelerates on stages that needs a little bit of distraction with her minions. But keep in mind, if you kill one of her minions, her damage with her ultimate will be less. It means Cecilia will always increase her attack speed and her damage will ramp up and she will resummon Mr. Carlyle and give him the entire buffs from Smokey, from Coco, whatever. For Flora Bell, she will give them the buff of Smokey and uh, Coco and everybody, anything that you will buff her with, it will gain her, she will gain and her minions. The problem is when they die, they will not be resummoned even if she ultimates. And the thing about her, you need to ultimate twice. First ultimate with her and two of her minions, which she summons. The second ultimate, she will have the third uh, summon that will go with them and if you kill her she disappears and her summons will disappear as well just like Cecilia. Is she good? Will she be meta? She will be a late game meta with the release of new summoners as heroes in the game. Yes she will be viable and she will be a top priority and even late game she will be better than Cecilia. She's already better than Cecilia in late game in many aspects especially for buffing these summoners such as Brian who accelerate when you get him 
to uh, I think Supreme or Supreme Plus when he becomes untouchable, unvulnerable, he doesn't die and he doesn't get stuck. So if you're wondering, if you're free to play or very low spender and you want to go and summon for her for a collection wise, absolutely understandable. I would do that. I'm eager actually to go and summon for her, click one tick and get her. Only for uh, summoning su uh, collections and maybe using her in tower. In tower she does absolutely great. She's another Cecilia. But not on Grave Worm, but on Wilder. So she's absolutely amazing on the Wilder Tower. If if you want to push towers and this is your main concern about your tower and you want this heavy carry, yes, she's the perfect unit to go there. Other than that, she's replaceable. The PvP meta teams, you have three or four meta teams. Right now, the Aaron Carolina is big. Arden is great. Uh, the the one-shot kill team with Seth, Brian and uh, Aaron with Laika is still available. And you can play the Vala team comp with uh, other units. Now, Cecilia could do better for, uh, than her right now because her stun duration, or she doesn't stun, she knocks back. Flora knocks back, Cecilia root them and stun them. It means when she drops Mr. Carly, everybody will be rooted and almost the same as stunned. They will not do any actions. But her, she will knock them back. If they're doing something like channeling, like uh, someone like Smokey, it will interrupt his channeling, but it will not... It, it will hit him with damage as well, but it will not stun him. It means he will get up, auto attack a little bit, and then do his uh, smoke. Uh, while with uh, uh, Cecilia, he will get rooted for some uh, period of time until he start doing his auto attack and get his cloud. You can wipe the entire team. Now, what are we gonna do? Now, for progress wise on this account as free to play, I've been doing fine. Uh, I've cleared everything. Now I'm reaching this uh, pass. Uh, I'm at 684. I can defeat it, I just need to manual it, I've been doing the auto, I just press this auto battle and continue all my uh, battles. Now if I manual, I'll go to 700 and we will unlock this path and now at 700 we're gonna go and unlock another map. Which is absolutely crazy. This is good thing that I will be doing. And as for my equipment, I got everybody to 150 levels, which is absolutely fantastic. Our equipment are full red, which means we can go and accelerate in Dream uh, Realm and other things. Now, uh, I wanna go and summon, yeah, we wanna go and summon. I hope I get the last copy of Vala. Now, I have 21 summons here and I have 10 summons here. So I drop Vala here. As you see, no Cecilia, I drop Carolina because this is the late game. And now I'm in, in my mid game, you can say, and I don't need more than Mythic uh, Cecilia. If I got other copies of her, or I will buy her from the uh, store, get her to Mythic Plus, I'll stop there. I'll never invest in her more. From the store, I'll be buying things else. Mythic Plus is what you want to go with Cecilia, so she will be perfect in every single mode. Now, if you want to go further more with Cecilia, it's not wrong, but she's not the best late game, and it's been proven by many accounts. And many players, many whales, many high spenders that are in the end game, they never use Cecilia. Even in chapters, they don't use her anymore. They're using other comps. Because Arden works better uh, because he's more consistent with his damage and with his uh, entangling. Uh, Carolina is absolutely a monster with Aaron. Same team comp in PvP, they're running on story. And you can play Cecilia, but now they're switching to Florabelle because she's more consistent with her damage. And uh, she does more damage than Cecilia as burst because Cecilia does damage until she fills her bar, then Carla will help her. While Florabelle, she will summon her minions and immediately they're starting dealing damage and her archers deal a lot of damage and she can sustain with her tank. And then she does her ultimate, knock back, these um, amount, big amount of damage plus with the buffs that you're gonna give her. So just replace Cecilia, put Florabelle instead of her in the end, late, late, late game. That's all. So let's go and do some summons and hopefully we're gonna get some Vala. So my wish list consisting of cool, good, the same amount of units that I want. Here I wanna put Arden, but I'm finishing Parisa first. Because I'm playing Parisa for a different kind of lineup that you will see in the future. And here we don't need any more Cecilia. And we need uh EU instead. That's it. And here we go. So let's go and test how our luck would be. 20 summons, I don't know the pity, I didn't look at it, but hopefully we're gonna get something before the pity. We didn't. One? Only one? Give Let's me like five purples, why together. one? Corrin, okay. Thank you, game. Can we get one cougar? Maybe one cougar will be good, because one cougar works. And we got it early. Is it Vala? 
Is it Vala? Would it be Vala? It would be just a big uh, Sylvina, absolutely a great unit. And she's shining now in bossing. In bossing, she's doing absolutely great with her Supreme Plus. Smokey! Yeah, no, this, okay, my Smokey went to Mythic Plus now. He can deal damage. Wow. Who else did we get? Double Sylvina, which is absolutely crazy. I love that. I love that in the games. And here, 30 out of 30. Okay, so lastly, we got... Uh, Carolina from this banner. Hopefully we get something right now. Please game. Give me something right now. It would be awesome if I get Vala because I'm missing one copy for Mr. Plus. Okay, we didn't get anything. Did we get a Kruger? Odi. Odi is good. And more Sylvina. Nice. My Sylvina is coming out. Nice. Did we finish Sylvina actually? Both yep, she got optimal training. Went to legendary and we can make her legendary plus, I think. No, we can't. What do we can do? I forgot what we can do. Ah, at Myth... At Legendary Plus, you can make the Mythic. Okay, noted. And yeah, that was it for the video. Again, I will leave the link below for the live stream that we were at, at Trakese, if you want to go and check his stream. Absolutely magnificent. He discussed everything. His points were valid. Everybody contributed there and talked. We had a Zebu also went and uh, visited his channel. It was a mega live stream. It was absolutely amazing. Big shout out to him. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace!